Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. I am Lonnie. Hey, good morning. I'm Candace. Welcome back. It's Monday morning. Monday morning, and um, it was a really good sales weekend. It, it's funny we didn't sell a lot of volume, but we had um, we had quite a few higher dollar sales. Yeah. Which uh. And some bigger items are moving out of the shed. Yeah, which means I got to pack them today. Yeah. Oh boy. Yep. Well, uh. On last time we talked to y'all though on Friday, we uh, we had some of the pops over here and or no, some of that toy buy from Mike uh, was in the aisle and we had a bunch of stuff on the right over here packed up uh, stacked up, but now all we've got left are um, the smaller pops. Those and then I'm not sure what these are like super low value things here. Yeah. So we're not exactly sure what we're going to do with those yet. Yeah. That's cool. I like That's yeah. unfortunate. That's so low value, huh? Yeah. White stripes? Yep. And um Yeah, like these models here, I, I can't really lot them up cuz they're all the same thing. Right. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll probably see if Molly wants to put one together. She likes doing little models and she likes anime and stuff. Yeah, these sell for like these sell for like $10 free ship. That's for something this big. It's just I don't think it's a good idea to sell it. Yeah. But uh, unless we end up making some kind of toy lot or something, which is possible, we may. Right. But um, we are we were waiting on eight six four boxes to get here before we listed any more of these kind of pops. Yep. And they're out for delivery today. They're out for delivery, so you feel good about uh listing? I do. I do because. Um, you know, we have like a, we don't really care for FedEx's, um, reliability, but at like 3.30 this morning, it said they were out for delivery. They were on a truck. So okay. I'm going to go ahead and go for it. All right. Here we go. Well, we do, we do have a few boxes. Um, and we haven't sold in, we haven't sold a ton of pops over the weekend. Right. So, and so. we do have a few boxes if we do happen to sell a few, but if not, um, They'll definitely be here tomorrow, but I feel confident they're coming in today, so I'm gonna go ahead and get them listed. Okay, I don't think I don't think that's a extraordinary risk to take. No. Nah. Um, and then also we didn't go, we didn't go to garage sales Friday. We only went to a couple on Saturday, and we only went to one Saturday, estate sale. Saturday we we went to three garage sales and three thrift stores, and we found one thing. Yeah. And then um, we did we went to one estate sale yesterday. It was appointment only. Um, but it was good. Like, I, I like that. Like, we were there when they first opened, and we were the first ones in the door, and we didn't have to, like, we didn't have all these people crowding us and around, so we could take our time looking. So that was... Sort of. Yeah. It, it, it got different. As yeah. It got... But we were the first ones. We were the first and only ones there at 9 o'clock, and nobody else showed up till like, 9.20 or something. Yeah, it was weird. And and then it got... But we'll talk more about that tomorrow. Yeah, we're going to... We did find some cool things there, and we're going to show you all that tomorrow. We um, found we found some home runs yeah. at that at that sale. Like, yeah. So we did. We only sourced for... We were what? there for, like, 40 minutes. Yeah, we... So total, total spent on sourcing over the weekend, a couple of hours. Yeah. But the payoff was huge for the, for the time and money spent, in my right, opinion. Right. So, but we'll get to that tomorrow. Today we're a little too busy uh, with Candace listing pops and Lonnie packing orders. Yeah. And I just referred to myself a third person. I didn't. Definitely gonna have to go to UPS for a few of those things. Oh yeah, absolutely. I think we've got at least three or four UPS things today. So we'll go ahead and pull the the um, post office stuff first. Yep. You ready to go? Yeah. All right. All right, first item is on 10 Charlie. It's a uh, Funko Boba Fett movie moments. 10 it's what? Not, it's Masters of the Universe. What is it? 10 who? 10 Charlie. 10 Charlie? Okay, right in front of me then. It's uh, 8. Masters of the Universe 8. Okay, Skeletor oh. with Snake Mountain. Yeah. Our first Funko sale from the mic buy. $13.99 on that. The next item is the same thing on one alpha. Uh oh, I might have to. Oh no, it's wet right up here. I got it. Did I list this? No, I didn't. Okay. You must have got me to put it up there though. No, it, there was nothing up there when I listed it. 
Oh, I moved it up there later. Okay, I got you. One alpha, uh, eleven ninety nine on that one because the uh, box had a little, it was a little rougher shape. Okay. Seven Bravo Hallmark Hunchback of Notre Dame. Notre Dame. Ornament. Seven Bravo Hunchback Ornament. Okay, I think this is him. He's like swinging from a rope mm -hmm. like that. $6.99. Okay. 10 Charlie Elvira Funko. Oh, that was the that was one of the uh black light reactive. Black light reactive, yep. This one even comes with a uh pop protector on it too. There's a little resurgence in um Elvira because Monster High just came out with a Monster High Elvira limited edition one. Well that that seems like a natural yeah. collab to me. I know. She's still alive? I, I think, think so. Yeah, I think yeah. she is. I don't I don't think she was as old as I thought she was. I thought she was like from the 50s or something. Did, she, did you ever see her without all her makeup and stuff? She looked completely different. Really? I think she even had like blonde hair or something. She probably didn't even show up in public out, outside of without makeup now though, huh? Um, that was $14.99. All right, one of the bigger ones, one Alpha the Witcher. Oh, oh yeah. This was actually one of the more valuable ones too. Geralt and Roach. Did you ever watch this? I have not. I I've, need to I've watch this. I know, all I hear is good things about Witcher all the time. That's $43.99. Okay, that's a good one. Uh, 10 Delta, it's a uh, t-shirt pop co combo, the Flintstones, Fruity Pebbles. 10 Delta, Fruity Pebbles. Yeah. Yabba Dabba Doo. Is that what we're talking about here? That's what I, that's what I saw on the edge of the box. <laughs> it's a Fruity Pebbles t-shirt with a Fred Flintstone pop. <laughs> it says Yabba Dabba Doo. That's all. Okay. Is it a, uh, we'll double check this. A size large? Yes. Okay. That was $19.99. Okay, nice. These these are cool. The ones yes. with the t-shirts, that was smart. Now we have a card on four Bravo A66. I don't think we sold very many cards, huh? No. You said A66, correct? Correct. Oh, let me get these to stand up a little better. A six. Okay, I got it. Got the Star Star Wars card. Star Trek. Star Trek. That's what I meant. Up. <laughs> uh, man, that is the worst mistake I make on videos. I know. It's like I clearly I know the difference between Star Wars and Star Trek franchises, but I intermix the name for the two, and it drives people crazy, which I get because then. If I saw, especially if they haven't watched the channel for long, they'll think you don't know. They'll think I'm just an idiot, yeah. which is kind of true, but not for that reason. That's just a slip. I know the difference. You got this Quarks, guy here. Quarks Quips. Yeah, old yeah. brain head looking guy. Yeah, $4.99 for that card. Okay. One Alpha, the Ghostbuster Pop. One Alpha. I'm glad we're selling a few here. Oh, Ecto One. I'm glad we're selling a few because this will make room for the ones you're going to list this morning after we finish pulling these orders. That was $12.99. All right, one Bravo Sony Discman. Yes. I think this is it. Yep, it says Sony right there. That's over $30. Okay, nice. We got this from another. We've done so many private picks lately. Private picks lately that I kind of getting them mixed up. But yeah, this was um, estates, another estate sale by appointment kind of yeah. thing. Mm -hmm. And we went and just made a pile of stuff and it was 50 bucks for the pile. Yeah, and she actually uh, went and she's like, Lonnie, I have something I know you'll like. And she went and grabbed it for him. Yeah, yeah. And, I, and I was like, yeah, that looks good. And it, it worked fine and everything. We had all the accessories. So uh, yeah, we I don't even know how to say what we paid for this because we bought a, a pile, pile. Yeah. <laughs> well lately i've been used to our orders being fairly small <laughs> like 20 30 orders taking up the amount of space this does i've only packed eight orders so far and look how much room this takes up man all right first item is a gone with the wind plate looks like lonnie already pulled it yeah candace was finishing up a listing so i went ahead and pulled this off of the 
Well, only one stack, one single stack of collector plates now. Used to be that whole shelf up there. We actually got like basically free or almost free. It was our price for these things. Yeah. So I wouldn't go out searching to like buy this stuff. Right. But when you get it for near free, it's really hard to say no sometimes. So. You got RET 2 there? Yep, RET 2. $11 for RET. All right. This is an exciting sale on this next one. Uh, oh, yeah. Former Klein Peter on 8 Charlie sold for $90. That's a, that's a good one, huh? Yeah. That was in our unlisted inventory. Yeah. He was in a box with a bunch of ALF stuff. Yeah. Wasn't he? Yeah, something like that. So I th I'm pretty sure that's something we got from Guy. Yeah. Where, where is it again? Uh, 8 Charlie. 8 Charlie. Who knew? Now, if you're not from this area, you won't understand. But Klein Peter is the... the big dairy farm. One Denver. of the big local dairies. And, um, I mean, when, we, when I was a kid, like, they would... I think I went, I think I toured that dairy like three times. Did you? Oh, yeah. They, we would always, like, it seemed like every other year or so, we have a big class trip to go check out the dairy. And all it was is but a bunch of big tanks and stuff. The only big, uh, like, industrial or type tour I did as a kid was at the, the bread bakery. Uh, wholesome. Oh, wholesome. Yeah. yeah. You and pass by that bakery, man. Just that, that smell of that bread. Man, when you walk in there... It's just, it's a smell you don't forget. About this, knocks you down, huh? Yeah, it's so strong with that bread. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, Klein Peter is the big local brand. And they, there was a ton of commercials and stuff with this old farmer Klein Peter guy. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah that, that was, that was huge. And where's it going? Is it shipping like somewhere kind of close by? I didn't even think to look. Yeah, Thibodeau. Oh, okay, it's going to Thibodeau, Louisiana. All right, right on. <laughs> All right, we have some flatware, some of the new um, silver plate we just bought. Okay, try try me out here. You just tell me what to get. Don't look at it yet. I'll, I will get you to verify. These are them. easy because I actually labeled them for you. Okay. S7. Oh, yeah, that should be easy, huh? <laughs> S7. Two serving spoons. It's like, you feel like you're trying to make stuff child-proof? Except much. now it's Lonnie-proof almost? Yeah. Mm -hmm. S7, starlight, set of two serving spoons. Yeah. Okay, that's one thing. S3. S3. One set of four soup spoons. Oh, so I only I should only get one set of four. Mm -hmm. Got it. All right, I will do that now. What do we get for that? Uh, those two items together, $25. Nice. Mm -hmm. And y'all can see Candace, Candace's polish on these uh, silver plate, man. They It looks fantastic. Probably helps sell it. All right, we have uh, two Walmart pens on two separate orders, so 108 and 53. 108 and 53. All right, let's grab the boxes I need. Okay, 53 will be in there, and 108 will be in here. This is the kind of thing where you can sell, sell five to ten of them, and it still looks like you have the same amount left. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't seem to matter. Yeah. We still have some you haven't listed yet, too, don't oh, we? Yeah. <laughs> All right, would you say five what? Uh, the first one is 108. Okay, 108. It's a 20 year anniversary gold tone pen for $10. 108. Yeah, oh, that's a, those are cool looking. That's a pretty pen. I think that's probably gold plate, as shiny as it is. Yeah. Looks like gold plate to me. All right, and what was the other one? Uh, 53, 15 year anniversary. Is this also, on also ten also ten dollars? Is this on the same order? No, two different orders. Two different orders. So the anniversary ones seem to do the best, right? That would yeah. which makes sense. Anniversary and the the ones with the smiley face guy seem to be the best sellers. The anniversary ones make sense because that's like something you could gift to someone else. Right. Right? Yeah. So yeah, fifteen fifty three was fifteen years? Yes. Okay. And those were both 10 bucks a piece, you said? Correct. All right. All right, so we had to make a new hat box location. For, on 4 Frank, there's a box with hats in it. We need a Tideless gray hat. 4 Frank? What's 4 Frank? <laughs> what is that? Foxtrot. Foxtrot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 4 Foxtrot. There's a box down there. Oh, by the way, we did get our 864s. 
So we're safe. We were right. Boxery. We like them. Four Foxtrot. Oh, all the way down there, huh? Yep. And what am I getting again? A gray Titleist baseball cap. Oh, must be on the other side then? It's in a box. Okay. Oh, that's right. I remember when you put that box there, it's like, man, I got to go all the way down there and get it. Okay, it's not bad. All right, let's see. It's that gray kind of stretchy fit hat, right? Yeah, it says Foot Joy on one side. FJ, yeah, got it. Uh, Twelve ninety nine. All right, Ten Echo, lot of Ten Skylanders action figures. Ten Echo, Ten Skylander. Uh, I think I got them. I believe this is the guys here. Those were $14.99. Alrighty. Alright, in the smallest drawer, uh, it's a card, a uh, Simpsons card, Auto Man, the bus driver. Oh, this. Yeah. I, I, I figured these were going to take a while to sell. Do you have multiples of the same card? Yes, I have okay. like a whole stack full of these things. Oh yeah, 35 available. So I, I figured that was a good way to to list and sell them i mean they don't take up much space yeah similar to dirk nowitzki cards except way less desirable yeah you got to find the right buyers for this uh that's four dollars on that card okay i'll just pull one out i promise all right in the cube you sold your cool red polaroid camera oh yeah i was excited about that we got this at a garage sale a couple weeks ago yeah. for two dollars i think yeah. i think it was two dollars right yeah. we got this and then we got one of our um i think one of our brass tray our brass trays <laughs> collection <laughs> uh that was forty dollars for that camera nice three alpha mcfarlane bat cave play set oh yeah that's one of the things from the mic buy here yeah all right Where, which one oh it's up here i got it Batcave. What do we get for this? $25. $24.99 plus ship. Yep. Right on. One more thing for this round. One more small thing, and then it's the rest is like the probably one. UPS. We're not yeah. sure on all of them. Okay. And the smalls drawer, 20 card Batman set. 20 card Batman set in smallest drawer. Okay. I've got something here. It's a 1996 Fleer embossed foil 20 card set. Maximum firepower? Does it say anything like yep. that? Oh, okay. That's This is it then. Those were $26.99. Okay, nice. So I'll go ahead and get the rest of these quote unquote smalls, even though it's not all like really small. Then we'll come back and pull some of the larger orders. So I'm about to pack this Tylus hat. And um, I always like to put something in between the cardboard and cloth whenever I'm shipping anything made of like a porous type material. Um, even if it doesn't get wet, I, I think I think having this in some type of bag of some sort is good. So we went to Home Depot to buy some boxes for some other stuff uh, that you're gonna see in a little bit to, to get it shipped. But uh, we've been, this is the second time we've bought these. These are pretty nice. These are awesome for like, this kind of thing where you don't really, well, not you, where I don't really uh, want to make it water waterproof. Like I don't want to put it in a bag, say, but I do want to like, like I, I mean like a Ziploc bag, but I do want to provide just a little bit of, little bit of protection from the, uh, I just cracked that open. Oh, so they are in there tight. Yeah. yeah. But these things are awesome. Look at them. I like them because, I mean, yeah, they're garbage bags, but they don't have, like, the, the things to tie or anything, so they just look like clear bags. Yeah, they don't look like garbage bags at all. Right. And, I mean, we I've even used them, like, for stuff where I've cut it down, you know, if, if I wanted to really mm -hmm. protect something. Um, and they end up being, the best part about them is they end up, this was, like, $10 at Home Depot. Mm -hmm. they end, So they end up being, like, $0.04 cents a piece. So they're they're almost they're very trivial costs to provide a little bit of extra protection and mo most importantly honestly 
Like I could probably ship a hundred of these tireless hats just in a box like this and there would be no issue. Right. It's more about the customer experience. They say, oh, well, they cared, they cared enough to put this in a bag before they boxed it. So They're good too. Like if you have lots of smaller things mm -hmm. and with a bigger box, you can put it in there and put everything in there to kind of just hold it together. Exactly. And then they kind of just fold it over and tape it. Um, we also today have some bigger ones coming in they're 33 gallon which is like three times this size yep they didn't have those um locally so at least not for a reasonable price so i ordered those off of amazon and those are coming in today usually we'll just use a garbage bag for something like that but uh, which is not a big deal like I, I don't i've never had anybody complain that if i put something in a garbage bag but right. still it's a garbage bag like, I almost feel like subconsciously people are thinking, oh, you thought this was garbage. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> this is the same thing. They're trash bags, but they don't look as mm -mm. No. much like garbage bags. No. So. All right. All the USPS stuff is ready for pickup now. And we just had lunch. Candace is still, like, chewing the last remnants of hers, I think. <laughs> and uh, I can already see that you've made a sizable dent in your pop mountain over there. Yeah. Yeah, I've listed 7, 10, 16 of them. Yeah, those things are so easy. Yeah. I think I overestimated how much time those are going to take by a lot because they're I just... I think we'll, I'll be done by tomorrow. Yeah, and I, I, we've also even talked about I may not even work on those at all. Yeah, I get some uh, different stuff listed. Right, get some variety going. It always helps to have... We've noticed like when we're doing like all one thing into the store that the the sales aren't as good like it's only drawing in like pop people right and not other variety of yeah sales, so. we, we typically like we typically like for us both to be working on different genre niches or genres of items just to keep the variety going in the store yep so i do have i still have some beverly buy stuff up here to work on and uh even even have like um uh, right there another set of golf clubs which are good to list right now too because spring ain't too far away yeah it's a good time of year to list like golf uh fishing yeah what else camping uh, yeah any, any kind of outdoor sports type thing yep outdoorsy stuff because people are going to be they're cooped up right now they're going to be ready to bust out and go buy some stuff and go have some fun once the uh especially up north down here we're I'm ready to go have some fun are you what, what kind of fun you want to have what you what camping you, oh yeah me too <laughs> <laughs> me too but we do have some more orders to pull so we can't well they're fun orders yeah, are fun ups stuff time to pull that stuff all right let's go all right the first order has two items uh 10a a boba fett um pop boba fett pop and i'm not 100 percent sure this is actually and it's a i don't know if they're labeled a b whatever there where is it Oh, 10A. Okay. This automatically went to 1A for some reason. I think we had the other one on a different shelf, huh? Probably so. Just okay. So they wouldn't get confused. Yeah. Oh, that w yeah. Yeah, that's right. A lot of times if we put them on different shelves, we don't even put the A or B Sorry, on them. Something went wrong. <laughs> Siri thought we were talking to her. She just said something went wrong. Oh, no, wait. That's Alexa, huh? I don't know. Sorry. Something went wrong. Okay, thank you. All right, and then the other thing on this order. Uh, one Delta, a Star Wars Funko backpack. One Delta. Somebody in the comments said that. All right, I about killed myself trying to pull that thing. Let's reset. I knocked some stuff over on the other side. Candace went and cleaned it up. Yeah. Just in case I keep that in, I'll. Okay. Where was it again, Candace? I'm gonna try this again. Uh, one Delta. Okay, I'm gonna try not to kill myself this time. I tripped on this crate, and then I had to catch myself, and then I shoved it right, right here, and it knocked a bunch of stuff over. over the, uh. All right, let me be careful this time. One Delta, we sold this backpack right here. Here we go. And because of the size of these two things, I, I don't think it's so much the weight. Um, yeah, the backpack would want to leave stuff so it'll hold its shape. Right. 
I'm not sure. I, I'm thinking this isn't going to be able to go priority. I think it's going to be larger than 12, 12, 12. So it might be going um, ups with that. So uh, both of those items together was $31.98. All right. In the up location, Evan Longoria bat. Um, where did I put that thing? I know I put a little. Oh, I remember. Uh, I don't see it over here. Wait. I know I put like. Oh, it's right here. I remember I put. I covered one end with a bag because it had the old degrading grip tape on it. And then I put bubble wrap on the rest of it so it wouldn't mess up getting put on the rafter there. So, man, I almost hate to even go get this thing after I just. You want me to climb up there? No, I don't. Your footwear is probably not OSHA approved. No, I'm wearing flip flops, and I, that's that's a big that's part of why I fell just now. Because I flopped. <laughs> I almost flipped. I didn't. Almost flipped, but it definitely flopped. I did definitely flop, but I didn't flip. All right, here we go. Evan Longoria bat. Got it. I got it. Two hundred dollars. Yeah, it had some issues. I cleaned it up a little bit because it had that black stuff from the grip all over the bat. And it, in, in the process of cleaning it, the signature faded a little bit. So it didn't get top dollar for it, but still got really good money. $200 plus shit. That's pretty good. Where'd that come from? A garage sale? That came from Guy. Okay. I got two of them. I got one that wasn't messed up and I have one that was messed up. And the one that was messed up, as per usual things that have issues you set it aside i'll handle that later i'm not in the mood today and maybe two years from now i'll do it <laughs> and yeah i did <laughs> all right it's time to go up again i don't want to go up and get off okay i was actually eyeballing it just now he's right there yeah so let me be careful again I don't even think, Candace, I don't even think you could reach this one. I couldn't. Even with the step stool. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Oh, this is, you know what? I better go ahead and pack this now. This is going to probably go, uh, it's not long enough to be the super long. So it's probably, that's probably going to go priority with the, uh, I think $4 surcharge. Let's see, if, if it's not more than 30 inches, then I'll be able to go priority. Oh yeah, it's 26. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I'll pack that first then. Get it out there. All right, we're super excited to see this sell. Oh yeah. It was on, it's 11A, it's the German Shepherd Christmas tree. Yeah, a lot of, uh, a lot of sales nowadays don't really move the old needle too much, but this one, the, I, <laughs> the old thrill needle or whatever. <laughs> What'd you think I said? I knew what you said. I didn't know what you meant. No, you meant like my... I'm like, I don't have a needle. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't have a needle either. Thank you very much. <laughs> anyway, it's on 11 Alpha. Oh God. Is this always got to be a threes company episode in this place, man? <laughs> I just said it was a weird thing to say. It doesn't say. move the needle. You know, like if you have a gauge and it has a needle on it, and it you know, like excitement needle. It's like, oh look, $10 sale. Beep. <laughs> you know, $500 sale Brr, pegs the needle now. Okay. That's what I meant. Bring your needle to 11. Oh, God, <laughs> stop it. <laughs> stop it. That's not funny. Don't say that. All right. Where is it? 11A. Oh, God. I'm all, I'm so dis 11 Archie. <laughs> That's not right. <laughs> You're not doing anything right. Be careful on that skateboard deck. I see it. <laughs> Here, hold this for a second. Little isotope skateboard. Thought that was a. A great thing to buy at one point oh here we go and the good thing about this bad thing is it's breakable good thing it does have the styrofoam and stuff in here so i'm just going to box i'm going to probably well i am going to just seal this box up and then float it just a little bit and probably a medium uh, a home depot medium box i think that'll do the trick here go skater girl Look, man, look at this big inventory location, Candace. I know, that looks like a good top location. It is, look. You can fit a bunch of stuff right here. Yep. Oh, and if y'all didn't see, when it, we got this... 
family run a state sale a few weeks ago. Yeah, it was like two to three weeks ago, something yeah. like that. We were, the, I think we were the, like one of the first ones in the house. Second people in there to walk in. And I went straight to the back. Yeah. And there was a room that only had just like a couple of pieces of furniture. There wasn't much in there. I look in the closet. This box is sitting down there. Yeah. I bring it to Candace. I knew I wanted to buy it because I, as soon as I realized it was uh, Danbury Mint. Danbury Mint. I brought it to Candace because it was some ladies running the sale. A lot of times, I just assume Candace is going to uh, communicate with with women better than me because she's a woman, right? Sometimes but doesn't that make sense to you? Yeah, it does. Sometimes it works. Sometimes I feel like you would have been better, but it just depends, yeah. I guess. But uh, Candace just said, "Hey, how much for this?" And it's like, "Well, you go ahead. I'm sorry." I said, "How much for this?" <laughs> <laughs> it's so much better when she says it. See her delivery. And they said fifteen dollars. Cool story, Candace. Yeah, that's the same sale where we got the uh, the, the animal ornaments. Yes. The uh, carousel or animals. I think we still have one left of those. Yeah, there's it's, one straggler. It's the ugly duckling Everybody of the bunch. Wants him. It's Let so me. See. Sad. Which one do we have? It's a camel, right? Yeah, it's a camel. What's wrong with a camel? Mm -hmm. huh. Maybe I'll start a camel collection. Yeah. No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you ever? You ever like? When, when you were a kid, did you ever do the camel rides? Like at the zoo? No, like, uh, I don't know. Sometimes we would have, like, like at the state fair or something like oh, that. Oh, no, I never rode a camel. They'd have, they'd have, like, these, like, camels, like, hooked up to, like, this contraption thing that just went in a circle. No, I never, I rode an elephant, not a camel. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. They do pony rides like that, too. And those things were mean as hell, man. Yeah, I can't believe they let kids around those things. They'd they reach don't... back and, like, try and bite your shoes and stuff. They'll spit on you. <laughs> yeah. Them. All right, I got three of my UPS packages done. The, uh, got the bat right there. Got the backpack and pop thing there. And then I've got the tree there. Thank you, Vanna. <laughs> <laughs> You've been a packing machine today, huh? That's all I'm doing. Yeah, packing and then you gotta edit a video. Packing, filming YouTube, editing YouTube, and uh. Good thing these are easy to list because I'm I'm popping them out. I think. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be bad. old dad joke, unintended. <laughs> yeah, there's your dad joke for the day. Uh, I might actually, I'll pull it. I'm gonna pull one card out, maybe in a little bit. How many you got now? Let's see. Oh, a bunch. Yeah. Well, you y'all can see how the pop mountain is. Still Slowly big, dwindling, but uh, yeah, it's it's getting there. Yeah, you'll be done by tomorrow, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. That's when I'm I'm so glad there's two of us in here because, like in the past when I would do this by myself, I would if I had a heavy shipping day on Monday, there nothing would get listed on Monday, nothing. It's usually made for a poor sales day on Tuesday. Exactly. Yeah. Yes, or so Tuesday. So then you can list a lot on Tuesday. <laughs> Basically, yeah, that's how it would work out. It was a constant, like, uh, what do you call that? Give and take. It was a constant rubber band yeah. like that. You know, heavy, heavy packing would make sales reduce. Sales reducing would end up with heavy, heavy packing. Yeah. It was constantly like that. Yep. But we do have uh, a couple more things. Number one, we'll grab them now. Start getting to work. Sold. Not those. I haven't listed those. So I hope they didn't sell. But those over there on the other side of Candace, golf clubs. <laughs> I'll go back there and get them. But uh, we had somebody message us this weekend. I mean, we were super busy this weekend. They were they were so patient. They asked if we would sell the clubs without the bag, and uh, which I wasn't that surprised about. But uh, I said yes, and then finally after like what Candace a day and a half. I got around to reworking the listing to take all photos, showing the bag out. I took any mention of the bag in the listing out. Yeah, title, description, everything. Yeah, and then still had the club pictures. And then increase the price. And then jack the price. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> and we did have it at 240. No, you literally did, didn't you? No. Oh, I did actually. And yeah. You put best offers on. Yeah. So we agreed 175. We paid 40. Yes. 40 for those clubs at a garage sale. We agreed on 175 plus shipping. So I relisted without the bag, made it 500 or best offer so somebody else wouldn't buy it. And if somebody else did buy it for 500, well, 
Maybe I'd maybe I'd ship that other person forty bucks and call it good <laughs> and enjoy the money. But uh yeah, so they made the offer paid right away and everything. So now I just have to get these things out of this bag and then uh I guess I'll list the bag separate, I suppose. Yeah. Try it anyway. I don't know. Why not? Yeah. What's the worst that could happen? Right. So uh 175 plus shipping on top for those clubs. All right, I'm packing these golf clubs now, and I guess I should have done this before, but uh, I took this stretch wrap stuff to secure them all together. And so I have the drivers and woods ends over here, and then I have the irons over here. You can see it's tightly wrapped. Got one of these things uh, from the store the other day. I've never actually used one of these, but I've seen other people use them. And I gotta say, it makes this, this is like super cumbersome when they're all clacking around and stuff. Now they're just like rock solid. They're not moving. Um, and then I just took some scrap cardboard and wrapped around. And then I'm going to take this whole thing. Now this will kind of like go this way a little bit. So I got a straight shot right here. And I'm just going to take that and uh, fashion some kind of thing using this medium box. And maybe another medium box too. I'm going to have to Franken box to get something to go this long. Because it's like 49 inches long. And there it is. That took me... How long? Man, I've been packing like a madman, huh? How long do you think that took? About 30 minutes? Yeah, maybe a little less. 25, 30 minutes? Yeah. Uh, okay, worth it. Because that's the hardest part of the golf club game. Is yeah. packing them. This is, I think this is the best golf club pack I've ever done pretty happy with it very happy with my three inch tape that made a huge difference so i mean it's not beautiful especially from this angle here but it's pretty decent not bad and i feel like the i feel like the clubs are going to get there exactly like i send them out too i'm happy with that one more thing so i'm about to go pull the uh last order it's actually in the back of the truck just need to put this label on this package but uh, I was glancing at the comments from the video that published today and get, we do get emails and stuff about this from time to time. And uh, I think a lot of y'all know, but some of y'all might not, but there are bots that will come into comment sections on YouTube channels. I see it on just about every channel I watch and uh, they will make different versions of shed flips and they might tell you you won something or something like that. Uh, if I ever run some kind of contest or something like that, it, it it's not gonna it it's gonna be like you're gonna know that something's going on. I'll mention it during the video, or it'll be in the the uh, the description or something like that. So if you see stuff like this, like I think most of y'all know, I would never leave Candice or I would never leave a comment that says "Let's talk." and then put like five fingers pointing up. <laughs> we would never do like, that is not our style. I have something for you, gif, 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 gif. We don't talk like that. And also that is not our account name at Shed Flips, at underscore Shed Flips. I think it's got another underscore. And they make like some that say at Telegram Shed Flips and something, you know, like none of that is us. So um, if you see some kind of weird spammy looking stuff like that you can safely ignore that it's not us uh we are going to look like okay so i just wrote a comment here to talk about it but uh that's what it'll look like if it's all it's at shed flips all one word okay that's what it's going to look like if we comment and i think it's going to have like a special thing like this around it showing that we're like the uh channel owners or whatever so anybody else it looks like shed flips but it doesn't look exactly like that it ain't us especially if it's telling you you won 50 grand or something because we don't you know as much as we would like to we don't have 50 grand to give you <laughs> so just wanted to point that out for y'all because right right now we seem to be having like a really big problem with this and one more thing we actually went and picked this up from storage yesterday and that is this mickey uh mini mouse luggage set there the smaller one is inside of this bigger one and uh i'm just gonna have to i've got two extra larges like this i don't know how many i'm gonna need one or two depending on how i can like reshape or 
resize this thing. But uh, yeah, we bought this. Candace, we paid 20 for that, didn't we? I, it, I don't think it was that low, huh? I think it was. It was pretty low. Like, they hemmed and hawed. It was late in the day, last day of the sale. It was, it, it was no more than 30. I know. I think, and then that, they realized that nobody else was going to buy it, so yeah we but, build it on out of there yeah we got it cheap man it was like uh look it's got it's new with tags yeah and everything we oh. had that thing for almost a year you remember that because we bought it before we went we're going to disney and i thought about that's why we bought it we're like okay we're going to disney i'll have disney luggage and then we're like man it's so dumb not to sell it you know right <laughs> yeah so we decided to sell it instead of keeping it and that was candace's idea not mine yeah I did not tell her we yeah. can, you can't use it. I said you can use it if you want, or we can sell it. I'm not a fan of the hard luggage. Um, I've seen my cousin on some trips we've taken the last couple of years twice. She's had it gotten cracked by the airlines. Yeah. So I'm just not a fan of them. Unless it's like the old school Samsonite, right? Oh yeah, that's stuff <laughs> indestructible. This is the newer, newer school Samsonite. Yeah. Oh no, American Tourister. And it, you would think, okay, maybe, but it'll keep my clothes dry. No. One of my aunts, when we went to New York, the, it got soft and wet, and the le water leaked through here and got all her clothes wet. So it didn't even protect it from water. Yeah. So I just, I don't know. Okay. They're always, they're cool looking, but, and they're lightweight. They're very lightweight. But we sold this for $225 plus shipping on top. So that was a huge score. Uh, it just took a little while to, while to sell, but it's worth the wait for sure. It's pretty. It is. It's cool. I, yeah. I can see why somebody would buy that. Yep. And it, this isn't something that's readily available anymore either. Yeah, we looked. We only saw like the ones with red dots, right? Yeah, there's something about this that was special. Yeah. So, I'm going to bag it up and pack it up. Man, I'm, I'm beat. Got this thing packed. And I'm happy with this pack. I actually, I mean, this suitcase, I'm, it does have stuff that could get broken, like the wheels and or or things like that. I just I want to make sure nothing happens to it. It would have to get run over by a vehicle, I think. Yeah, but I used two boxes on it. Uh, I did use. I had the. I had to cut the side out of both of these boxes, and then I used that as internal uh, strengthening <laughs> under the suitcase and around the suitcase, and then we uh, we put a little bit of paper void fill in there, and it's ready to roll. That thing, that thing is huge. What does that weight come out to? Uh, I think it was 28. Let me see. I forget. <clears throat> I guess I need to write it down. I usually do write it down. Okay, let's see what we got. No, 27. 27 pounds and some big dimensions. Let me see how much this thing's going to cost. All right, this guy's going to New York. And they buyer paid 66 something. And uh, the measurements were just a little bit smaller. Ended up. I'm paying $61.93 to ship this thing. That might be that's if if I've paid more in postage lately, I don't remember it. <laughs> if I paid more in postage, it, it's been a while. Because that's that's a lot of shipping on that. But it is it's a monster. It really is. Oh I wonder what the uh let me see just for fun, I'm gonna see what priority would have been. I'll also look at parcel too. Okay, just to give you all some an ideas of what other services would charge uh fedex ground would have been 71 dollars and 66 cents so uh, about ten dollars more priority which you know is going to be ridiculous on something that big 152 dollars and 52 cents to ship that priority and then i was kind of surprised at parcel 122.22 so parcel is getting hit with those huge um dimensional rate fees too i guess i didn't think that was the case i thought it would be closer to uh actually i was kind of expecting parcel to be cheaper potentially a little cheaper than ups but i get post office doesn't want anything like this at all anywhere in their system i don't think so let me put the label on this thing and then we're gonna think we're gonna be about ready to wrap this thing up you ready for the funny i'm ready to laugh all right let's go all right hey candace Hey, Lonnie. Why was Cinderella so bad at football? Uh, I don't know. She kept running away from the ball. <laughs> I like that one. I didn't like that one. I like that. So, okay. 
What is the difference between ignorance and apathy? What? I don't know, and I don't, don't care. care. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. Uh, what is the windmill's favorite kind of music? The windmill's favorite kind of music. I don't know. I don't know for sure, but I know it's a big metal fan. <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> it was. What do you call a bee that can't make up its mind? This is this is not good. What? A maybe. That is so. That is bad. That sounds like. That sounds like a. That sounds like a joke. Like a little kindergarten. Exactly. Home from school. And right. Exactly. <laughs> like. Ugh. Okay. Oh, well, we'll try again tomorrow. I think we're starting to run kind of low. There's okay. only like 50 cards. Should in I it. order us a, some more? What do y'all think? I don't know. Or, Maybe, we'll or, probably find some online. Are y'all burnt out? They're not. <laughs> I don't think they are. Uh, you know what? I'll go ahead and put up a poll on the community tab see more dad jokes yes or no and then we'll go with that yeah if you really feel strongly one way or the other answer it <laughs> yeah <laughs> i don't know how you could feel that strongly one way or the other about dad jokes unless you hated them so i expect we're going to get a lot of no's and not a lot of yeses yeah i think so, so. <laughs> all right y'all i am tired candace i think you're on your last listing for the day i am i'm finishing up my last one okay and i'm so looking go microwave those leftovers well, the uh, the pinwheels you have to air fry. Yeah. Although they, it gets sog. They did like um, because they're pastry. I, for lunch, we tried some out in the air fryer, and they came out perfect. Yeah, they're nice and crispy, just like last yeah. night. Yeah. So, that's gonna be it for this one. Thanks a bunch for watching, and we will see y'all again very soon. Bye, y'all. Bye.